Hey guys, we are in Beach Mountain, North Carolina. We're gonna be visiting the land of Oz and doing lots of things here in Beach Mountain. But first, we're gonna show you where we're staying for the weekend. We are staying in a rental cabin by Beach Mountain Rentals. And I'll put a link below in the description for you guys. You can go check them out. They have lots of cabins here in Beach Mountain for you guys to take a look at. Let's go check out the inside. After dropping our luggage off at our awesome rental cabin for the weekend, it was time for some lunch at one of our favorite family places to eat in Beach Mountain, Famous Brick Oven Pizzeria. We ordered their gyro sandwich, a pizza, meatball sub, and some hand-cut fries, all served up hot and made to order. Just what we needed before hitting the Emerald Outback for some hiking and incredible views. So right now we are just a few minutes from the Land of Oz, but we're not actually going until tomorrow. Today we are hiking in the Emerald Outback, which used to be part of the Land of Oz, but is now a public uh, park, I guess, with a bunch of hiking trails that lead to some really nice scenic overlooks, various views and things like that. Looks like on the trail map, this trail is about a mile and a half out, mile and a half back maybe. Um, maybe longer, maybe shorter, it's kind of hard to tell, but uh, we'll let you know. The series of trails located in the Emerald Outback are great and make for a great family outing. The trails are generally moderate and offer up some stunning views and even some wildlife. We really enjoyed our hike and look forward to trying some of the additional trails in the Emerald Outback in future visits to Beach Mountain. But after hiking for a few hours, it was time to head back to Beach Mountain for dinner at Mile High Tavern, where burgers are the main item on the menu. The burgers were great and so was our outdoor seating with the fire pit. We awoke early the next morning to get ready and grab some breakfast before heading up to Beach Mountain Ski Resort for our visit to the Land of Oz. Fred's Deli is located in the bottom floor of Fred's General Store in downtown Beach Mountain and offers up a number of quick breakfast items made to order. We ordered eggs and bacon, cinnamon buns, and of course some coffee. Good morning. We are at Beach Mountain Ski Resort for the Land of Oz this morning. We uh, have lift tickets and we're going to head up the lifts up to the Land of Oz up the top of Beach Mountain. Uh, we're a little early here this morning, so we're going to kind of take a tour of the village here for a little bit, go get our lift tickets, and uh, head up to Land of Oz. Off to see the wizard. The ski village is your arrival location for the Land of Oz and contains a number of different vendors selling food items and Oz-themed merchandise. The kettle corn caught our attention with the amazing smells of hot and fresh popcorn, and the owners were super nice as well. As our time slot approached, we got in line to take the ski lifts up to the Land of Oz, to the top of Beach Mountain. All right, we are on the cheerlifts on our way up to Oz. Um, <laughs> it's cold and very windy, so not what we expected today, so it should be quite the adventure. But uh, what do you guys think it is? About probably in the 50s, I would guess. Winds are picking up. Uh, they were telling us down at the uh, ticket area that uh, it's going to be high winds. So uh, <laughs> might be very realistic for Oz, I don't know. But uh, we're going to ride the cheerlift up here and uh, see what's going on. Guys, we are here for Autumn and Oz 2023. We just came off the ski lifts and we just arrived at the entrance to Land of Oz and take you guys on a tour, show you some of the shows. Let's go. 
The Land of Oz Amusement Park opens up each year in September for the Autumn and Oz event. Autumn and Oz allows you to see the park, watch performances of all the characters, and visit the Emerald City. The whole event is just pure magic. Yes! Hello there! My, welcome! I do believe all of Kansas has been through here today. Hopefully there's still some room down there. Hopefully so. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Fear me! It's how I like my children. Nice and afraid. <laughs> 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 After returning to Kansas and the Gale Farm, it was time to head back down the mountain as we had more Beach Mountain adventures ahead of us. Our next stop was the Beach Mountain History Museum, which is full of Beach Mountain and Oz history, including railroad memorabilia, Oz costumes, and so much more. Lower Pond Creek Trail. This is a strenuous trail. I think it's because of the elevation change, but uh, we'll go check it out and let you know. So this trail has really surprised us. This is an absolutely gorgeous trail. It's Creekside. There's a number of really pretty water, smaller waterfalls. There's um, actually a section that's probably three, four, five hundred foot long, where it's just a continuous incline of water all the way down a hillside. Absolutely beautiful. There's a really nice rock that I'll show you right here in the video where you can sit and enjoy the scenery. And then a little bit further down from that is She Falls Falls. Looking at my daughter because I'm not sure I got the name right, but. And it's beautiful too, so we're going to show you that. Um, definitely recommend this hike if you guys are up in the Beach Mountain area. Really pretty. After that amazing hike, it was time for dinner at Beach Alpen Restaurant, where we really enjoyed some soup, calamari, steaks, fish, and pasta. The food was really good, and we found this to be one of the nicer dining experiences in Beach Mountain. Once again, we really enjoyed our visit to Beach Mountain, North Carolina. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next mountain adventure.